welcome to the motherfucking Weasley update. Ooh, it is season two, episode eight. Can't believe that already. And the date is 11, 11, 20. Also can't believe that, that it is uh, November 11th. I've already started my Christmas shopping. I've actually got like um, my parents, one of my brothers and my niece and nephew done, but fuck, I still need, um, I still need to get quite a few people done, but I am, uh, I'm stoned, and I'm ready to ramble about it, let me tell you, the Christmas spirit is definitely here in my house, my, um, mom and brother have already decorated the inside, uh, the outside is not decorated yet, but if you have had the privilege of seeing our house during the, um, the holiday season, you know that, uh, my parents, really my mom, go all out. I mean, they, she really spares no, uh, no small detail. Just, just my brother's room is extravagant. It's pretty awesome. It definitely, like, inspires the Christmas cheer within me. So, even though I don't help put anything out, put anything up, I get to reap all the rewards. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm staring at my calendar right now, and I can see December 1st. It's insane. It's like three weeks from yesterday. I've got a final due that day, too. Like a big final research project on Breaking Bad. Which is, um, all things considered, pretty awesome. That I am able to do a, uh, a huge project on the greatest show of all time. Which I've talked about on here plenty of times. Especially in relation to Game of Thrones. Um, because Game of Thrones would have taken, taken the throne, no pun intended, as the greatest show of all time, if that last season just didn't suck so bad. I don't care which... Man, I was just bumping some throwback music from, like, summer 2017, and it's got me feeling all nostalgic. That is such a, such a melancholy feeling. You have to appreciate the past, but embrace the future. Holy shit, I still have so much shit left to do today. I'm looking at my to-do list, and it's like, fuck, man, I'm, I'm doing this really late. What time is it? Okay, that's no help. Gotta log into my phone. It is... God damn it. It's like it's hiding from me now that I'm recording shit on here. It's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna say it's like... Almost 8 o'clock, if not 8 o'clock already. Oh, here we go, 7.30. Yeah, so, ooh, and I still um, have to export this, upload this, work on a bunch of tunes, write some. Man, I also want to watch some more Titans today. I just started watching Titans, which was on the DC Universe streaming platform, but now it's on HBO Max. Um... And I really wanted to watch it when it first came out, just because I grew up on the Teen Titans show as a kid. Like, my dad and I would watch that all the time. Still a fucking awesome show. One of the best Cartoon Network shows ever. If you don't know what Teen Titans is, you're a loser. That's what I'm saying. But, um, in all seriousness, it probably aired from... Let's look this up. Let's see how long its runtime was. Teen Titans Runtime. Okay, that just told me the the fucking running time for each episode, which is about 23 minutes. Makes it very easy to blow through. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say about it. It premiered on July 19th, 2003. Um, final, the final half hour episode of the show came out in 2006. And then it had a movie... Um, that same year, it was Teen Titans Trouble in Tokyo. Man, what a cool show. It's, it's definitely not anime, but it's, um, it's definitely, like, inspired by that sort, that sort of culture. But, uh, it's a, it's a DC thing that follows, like, Robin, you know, as in, like, the sidekick of Batman with a team of, like, other, um child misfits 
you know, so you got my boy Cyborg, who is in the Justice League movie. You got Raven, who is just a fucking badass, had a fat crush on her growing up. Just that, like, goth girl hanging out in her dark robe. And um, you also have Starfire, who's, like, an alien of some sort. And Beast Boy who's this green guy that shapeshifts into a bunch of different animals. So it was the perfect mixture perfect mixture of badass and like wacky for uh for me as a kid. And now it's made into a super gory, very adult show on HBO Max, just called Titans. Whew. I feel like I'm a little bit desensitized to gore just because I grew up watching some pretty gory shit just like being a a big horror movie fan um but there i'm only like five episodes in i think i'm actually only four and i I don't know but i'm not that far into it and there's been a ton of moments where i'm just like oh my fuck that's nasty like stabbing people in the dick with garden shears and like ooh, yeah it's um and if you just told me at any other point in my life that I would get to see Robin on screen kicking ass in that fashion, I would not have believed you. So, at the very least, I appreciate the action. The the writing is meh. Like, it's just interesting enough for me right now. But I'm hoping that'll change. Uh, And that's probably partly influenced by the fact that, like, I had read before that, that the writing was not great. Um, but the costumes were incredible and just seeing the posters and like, you know, like clips on Instagram and stuff. The costumes are amazing. The Robin costume, fucking crazy. Awesome. The Nightwing costume, the Deathstroke costume. They just revealed red hood all fucking whoever the costume designers are on that show. They are killing it in terms of adapting those ridiculous outfits to live action like red hood was that's got to be a hard one to pull off but it, it looks fucking incredible and um both the first seasons came out on dc streaming service and so i'm hoping that now season three and four which they already announced are going to be a little bit like higher quality in the shift to hbo max i don't know though like I said, it's it's like just entertaining enough. It's also got Thad from fucking Blue Mountain State, which is a show I I totally forget about. That was probably one of my napping shows. Everyone's got that. It was Family Guy for a while. Uh, and that's how I discovered Parks and Rec. Like the whole first season of Parks and Rec, I watched from behind my eyelids, and then um, yeah, then got so so into that show. I think that had seven seasons. I'll just look that up. How many seasons of Parks and Rec? Yeah, seven. Yeah, I, I remember that because I had to find some sneaky way to watch the fucking seventh season on my phone. I did do the same thing with Young Justice, which was another cartoon network like DC show. It was very similar to Teen Titans, but just. Yeah, I don't know, they literally just called themselves the team and, like, um, oh, I don't know, like, made a different base and stuff. It was sort of weird, but I was into it, and I had to watch the second season on my, my phone. I, it might have actually been an iPod at that point. Man, thinking about some of the games I used to play on my iPod, that's crazy. Yeah, I think all in all, I'm, I'm into Titans. We'll, we'll see where it goes, though. Um... But, holy shit, the Xbox is already out. Whatever the new one is called. Let's look that up, too. We're doing a lot of research in today. Okay. Xbox Series X. Okay, so... Oh, my God. What? Are you shitting me? One of the first things... The first top story that comes up on Google is by The Verge. And it's titled, Microsoft quote please do not blow <laughs> please do not blow vape smoke into your xbox series x quote what the fuck who is doing that 
The Xbox Series X seems to have a disc problem. Xbox Series X vape situation is ridiculous and dangerous. Wow. Okay, so I saw a video earlier of smoke coming out of one of these things. And the the fucking header picture for that last one is that a screen cap of that. So maybe... That's what it did. Like, some someone blew vape smoke into their Xbox and then made a video acting like it was... Okay, let's see. Let's read through this real quick. What latest viral video? Microsoft's latest... <laughs> of course, it is the most powerful Xbox yet, thanks to its components. Da, 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 da. But an unofficial Xbox Studio Twitter account called out those videos as fake. Oh my god. And then, wow, yeah, Xbox Twitter had to release a statement that said, we can't believe we have to say this, but please do not blow vape smoke into your Xbox Series X. That is fucking hilarious. (laughs) Wow, yeah, I think the PlayStation comes out tomorrow. I'm trying to help my little brother get one. Ah, yeah, you know, there was not a chance I was getting that Xbox. I just... I haven't really been into Xbox for a while. The PlayStation has sort of always been our thing. Like, we had an Xbox, but, um... I, like, we had... That was, like, secondary to the PlayStation. Because we had the original PlayStation, the PS2, the PS3 for a while. And then my parents got, um, the PS4. And, like, while we had the PS3, some neighbor or something gave us an Xbox for... I don't know, pretty cheap, and so they just put it in their room, and and we had a 360 for a while, and I think we still do downstairs. I just remember that one got the red ring of death, and because we weren't Xbox users, had no idea that that was just a thing. So, what a fucked up first experience. Just, oh yeah, it's dead. It's like, okay, what, what else can you tell me? But, um... The PS3 did have problems with, like, people hacking into PSN. Because it used to be free. Man, that was the shit. I can't believe it used to be free. In retrospect. But, I mean, obviously, now that uh, they're paying for it. Or we're paying for it, rather, as users. They have a um, a way better whatever that doesn't get hacked into. All I know is my PS4 has been absolutely, like, a zero problems same with the one my parents have been rocking with for a while like mine is only two years old and i can't even believe it's two years old because i got it on black friday the year that i moved up to bellingham and now i look back it just feels like a year ago it, it feels like that anyways not to mention like how hard covid has changed my time frame because I, I, like, whenever I say last year, I think of two years ago. Because it just feels like last year didn't get finished. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Shit got real, uh, real serious right around my birthday. It was, you know, just had to deal with it. I don't want to make it sound like I, I was bitching about it. But, um, yeah, the bar shut down on the day I turned 21. Not that I was, like, gonna go hit the bars, because I think that was a Monday. And, um, like, not really a big drinker anyways. Let's see. Oh, happy Veterans Day, everybody. Can't believe I forgot to say that. Let's look back at March. God damn it. Yeah, March 16th was a Monday. So, next year it'll be on a Tuesday. That's... That's interesting. Probably also final weeks of... Finals week of that quarter. Man, the 11th. I can't fucking believe that, man. That's crazy. Kwanzaa. Interesting. Yeah, well... My town has already put up their Christmas decorations. Sort of crazy to think about. Fuck, dude. At like 9 o'clock. Oh, man, that's coming up. I gotta help my little brother get his PlayStation, man. We are getting on all sorts of devices trying to help out. 
going to different shops today and tomorrow, just virtually. Oh, I also feel like I should say something about Sean Connery very quickly. <sighs> That's very sad. Sir Sean Connery passed away. The original Bond. Was he the original? I honestly have no idea about that. Because I've only seen one of those, and it's a Daniel Craig one. But I believe he was the original. I grew up watching him in uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Because if you don't know this about me, I'm a huge fucking Indiana Jones fan. And he was Indiana Jones' dad. It's very sad. Also, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which is... I get it, it's not a good movie, but I grew up on it. So I'm super entertained by it. It's like a bunch of, um, a bunch of like classic, uh, horror figures, I guess. Like, um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but it's weird instead of him just like, cause in the source material, when he turns into Mr. Hyde, he basically just turns into like a disgusting, fucked up rapist and shit who just like beats people up and it's horrible, but in this movie, they they made it more that, like, he turns into, like, a hulking figure. Um, sort of weird, but I guess good take for an action movie. And then they've also got the Invisible Man up in that bitch, and fuck. Dorian Gray. That's the other big one. I think they also have Nina Harker from Bram Stoker's Dracula. Huh. Let's look that up. I'm going to guess that came out in 2002. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. 2003. God fucking damn it. Okay, let's see who all is in this. 17% Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. Okay, Sean Connery. Yes, Mina Harker is in it. Peter Wilson. Stuart Townsend. Where does that name sound familiar? Wait, wait, wait. Does that say Tom Sawyer? Tom Sawyer is one of the characters. Okay, that's pretty weird. Hey, why do I know this guy's name? I'm not seeing anything on his. <sighs> People also search for Charlize Theron. And Sean Penn. What in the fuck? I don't know. I'm going to have to ask my mom about that. Okay. Shane West, Jason Fleming. He was also like Calibus in, um, fuck. Clash of the Titans. Let's see. Yes, he was. He was an X-Men first class. Oh, shit. He was a Zazel. Wow. I can't believe. Fuck. That's so easy. He was just painted red with fucking weird hair. How did I not? What the fuck? Tony Curran is in that movie? Rodney Sk I was just looking at this dude. He was in the second Underworld movie as this big Jeepers Creepers looking thing. What was that just... Oh, I was talking about him because he was in the second season of Daredevil 2. He's in Blade 2? What the fuck? Okay, I need to see a picture of this dude in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh my fucking Christ, he's the Invisible Man. What? I can't... My mind is blown. He was my favorite character in that movie and I had no idea. Oh my God. <laughs> I can totally see it now. That is... Wow. I'm going to have to talk to my mom about that because that is absolutely hilarious. Dude, this movie has a huge fucking cast. Alan Moore? Okay. What? You're telling me the writer of Watchmen and V for Vendetta? Is in this movie Alan Moore? League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Wait, it's a comic? Did he write the comic? Oh my fucking god. I didn't know that. Okay, now we gotta look up movie. 
big quick storage. Well, it must be just like a cameo or something because I'm not seeing anything. Wow, I didn't I had no idea this was an Alan Moore property. Okay, Max Ryan. Do 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 Yep, yeah, not really anyone else that I'm recognizing, but I still can't believe Oh my god, Jason Isaacs? How is he so deep in this cast? And how do I get out of this viewing mode? Okay, that's what I want. View all. Why the fuck is Jason Isaacs buried under all of these guys? He's just a faceless nameless person. Jason Isaacs, if you don't know, plays um, Malfoy's dad in Harry Potter. Yeah, I don't know, I guess, I mean, I'm not seeing him. Interesting. Maybe he was like a producer or something, and that's why they're crediting him. I have no idea. That's so weird. Well, this is all to say that it has the movie has a great cast, but it's shit, I guess. Really, really fun. Super, super entertaining, but um, yeah, really not a great movie. Holy shit! Neither was uh, was Batman v Superman, but it has a really good moments, like. There was definitely some stuff when I walked out of it I thought was cool. But over time, I've definitely come to appreciate some little moments. Um, it's just altogether it blew. Like, there were so many good ideas. They were just executed poorly. I felt like the whole, like, flash... Like, having a dream and then the flash being there and then waking up from that was... A little ridiculous. Like, I hate when movies do that. Where they wake up from a dream and they're inside another dream or whatever and wake the fuck up. Like, yeah, I really didn't like that. But it's not because I didn't think that the nightmare scene or the flash scene were bad. It was just they shouldn't have been set up like that. Like, what the fuck? But I got super, super fake the other night. And just watch the scene where uh, where Bruce and Clark talk to each other at the art gallery or wherever the fuck it is. When, uh, when whatever like event Lex Luthor is hosting. And there are so many little nuances to that scene that are so awesome. Like I, I love the dialogue between them. I just think Ben Affleck is such a good goddamn Batman. And I thought it was a... Uh, great Bruce Wayne. You know, like, there's also, like, little subtleties and nuances and just, like, when he's, uh, when he's in the Batcave just looking at the Batman suit, it's like, oh, that is so dope. He just looks like a psychopath the way he looks at it, you know? And he is. He's a psychopath. No one acknowledges that. Batman's a fucking psycho. Dresses in a suit and goes out and beats the fuck out of people. Especially that Batman fucking punching people's heads through the floor. God damn it, that's awesome. And I've, I've probably said this before, but I just love his Batman because it's the closest thing to the animated series. Just this brooding, giant, hulking figure in a gray suit just jumping around the place, beating all sorts of ass. You know, it's like, a, like the Arkham games too, but fuck... Still, that um, that scene where he, him and uh, him and Clark are talking to each other is really, really good. I just think again, altogether, a lot of ideas just did not pan out. And how, how hard was it to make Doomsday look like Doomsday? Like, even if you're gonna say that's not the real Doomsday, it's like, well, it's the one you're showing us. So why wouldn't you just? Uh, I don't know. There was all sorts of shit like that with that movie. Even the opening scene 
when he started rising and it was like, in the dream, they took me, blah, blah, blah. It's like, come on. It was weird. We There was a better way. Like, again, not a terrible idea for Superman to be humanized to Batman by finding out that their moms have the same name. Not, you know, not uh, the way I would have gone. I don't know. I feel like there were way better ways to do that. But still, all all things considered, not a bad idea. Just execute it terribly. You know, like, there should have been a more organic way for him to fucking get that knowledge and, like, rethink it. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, really weird. And there's a bunch of people who were like, oh, get over it. It's like, yeah, maybe you're right, but that scene is just so hard to, to get over for me. The fight beforehand is pretty cool. I guess. Like, for the most part. I like when Batman's just punching him in the face and it, like, progressively has less and less effect. That That's pretty dope. Um, but, yeah, the when I think fight scenes in that movie, my head immediately goes to the warehouse fight scene because it was just choreographed so fucking well. Pulled off so well. Again, all the little nuances when he's getting stabbed and oh, it's just so awesome that's everything I want out of Batman I really hope he he as in Ben Affleck gets his own series I don't know why I'm thinking about this but the song Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas is so fucking good in every form every piano version just like instrumental oh, gets me every time same with the uh, reflection from Mulan. Like, when you hear that just on piano, you really realize. Like, when it goes in, you're like, fuck. Excuse me. You're like, fuck. This wasn't just, like, some lyrical Disney garbage that they slapped together. The instrumental just is so beautiful. And even if you haven't seen the movie or don't know where it's coming from, it still makes you feel. And that's... That's what matters. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Alan Menken did that. Let's double check. I know that to be true. I just don't want to be spewing bullshit. Alan Menken, Mulan. Yeah. Alan Irwin Menken. Movies. Little Mermaid. Beauty and the Beast. Pocahontas. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Enchanted. Oh, what a great movie. James Marsden is perfect as the like cartoon prince in that movie fuck amy adams is also perfect in that hercules aladdin this dude composed all of these newsies tangled shut the fuck up he did sausage party oh, i Oh my god, I, I can't believe that. Alan Menken is one of my favorite composers of all time for all of those Disney classics I just listed. And he oh, and he also did Sausage Party. That's hilarious. Pooh's Grand Adventure. Gallivant. I forgot about that. Um, so it looks like he did not do Mulan. Let's look this up. Mulan composer. That's... Mulan, now I have to specify 1998, I forgot. Mulan, 1998, composer, wow. Matthew Wilder, Jerry Goldsmith, Stevie Wonder, David Sapel. What, there's, wow. Okay, I gotta double check on this because I was so sure. That Alan Menken did it. Do, 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 do. Disney Renaissance. It was directed by Tony Bancroft and Barry Cook. Interesting. Do, do, do. Eddie Murphy. Magdalene. Come on. Where's the fucking composer? This should be easier. Music by Jerry Goldsmith. Interesting. Okay, so let's... Go back to the Alan Menken movies. Yeah, Little Mermaid, goddamn classic. Such a fucking amazing soundtrack. Um, 
little weird connotations. Uh, it's a little weird she just ditches her family at the end, I think, personally. But all things considered, great movie. The soundtrack is gorgeous, dude. Kiss the girl. Um, part of your world. Part of your world reprise. What's that opening song? The opening is so good. Let me type this into Apple Music. Made. Okay, yes, just made titles, it's called. Uh, and Happy Ending. Holy shit, what a good song. Beauty and the Beast, one of my favorite soundtracks ever. Holy goddamn fuck, that's just one of my favorite movies ever. Pocahontas, I was... That's what got us into this conversation. Colors of the Wind, also Farewell at the end is awesome. Aladdin. Yes, Aladdin is another one of my favorite soundtracks. I can quote that movie almost word for word. Tangled. That, that also has a very awesome soundtrack. I'm pretty into that movie. Home on the Range was just garbage. I remember seeing that in theaters. That came out when? Like 2004? <laughs> Man, I still can't believe he did Sausage Pretty. That is cracking me up over here. Well, with that knowledge, I'm going to uh, call it quits and upload this and eat some motherfucking dinner. So I'll talk to you hoes later. Peace.